So it looks like France is getting a whole lot of love this coming update. Not that they have really been needing it, but seeing that we do have Belgium and the Netherlands now for them, it only ever made sense to bring in their own variants of the Leopard 2s, although it's nothing more but a copy paste. It doesn't come with just the vehicles, no. There's a lot more to it that we're going to talk about in today's video. But before I do jump into today's topic, that is, well, the Leopards, and not just these ones, in fact, all of them in the game, uh, a quick word from today's sponsor. So let's roll that. So a big thank you to Pikian for once again sponsoring today's video. So if you didn't know, there's a free way to get Golden Eagles, and it's entirely legit. Use this app called GE for War Thunder to earn, well, some Golden Eagles to use for whatever you want in the game. The app allows you to complete specific tasks. You fill out surveys, you play specific games, fulfill special quotas, and in the end, you get paid in Golden Eagles. And to add, there's also a special bonus. If you use my referral code right here, you get some exclusive codes for instant Golden Eagles. And if you're one of the many iOS users, Pickin has now provided a Telegram bot for you to get some Golden Eagles as well. Though the bot isn't quite ready, you can subscribe to it when it does arrive. And it's also available for everyone else that's not only on iOS and Android. So if you're not wanting to spend actual money on the game, and at the same time, you're still wanting to enjoy some of that premium goodness, just click on the link down below in the description and you get to earn your Golden Eagles entirely for free. So really, what's not to love? Give it a shot today. Also, one more thing before we do begin. Uh, this is the dev server, meaning that a lot of things are subject to change, but when it comes to this major change, uh, Gaijin is pretty dead set on not changing it, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this one, guys, but it really depends on how you view it as a player. But again, seeing that this is the dev, everything is subject to change. It might come, it might not, some new things might pop up, others might not, and no, I'm not keeping that 11 million golden eagles. Do you know how nice it would be if I did? Not that I need it, I have a lot of stuff already, but man... Imagine. And before you ask, as a content creator, we get access to it just for the dev server. Although the um, the silver lines are mine. I earned those. Just saying. But anyways, let's dive into it, shall we? Now, what is or what are the uh, Leopard 2A4 Netherlands edition? I'm going to call it like that just for fun. Uh, the 2A5 and the 2A6. Well, it's copy paste. I'm not kidding. It's the exact same thing you'll find with uh, the Germans. Let me go ahead and actually set that up for you guys really quick. So we have uh, the A5. We'll put that here. We have the A6. We'll also put that here. And then, of course, we'll carry the 2A4 because we can. As you can see right here, dozer blade, non-dozer blade, just it, besides the skin, it is exactly the same thing as you'll find with the existing versions. Same firepower, DM-53. DM-33 as a stock round, which by the way, was a fantastic change. They did this a long time ago. Gaijin, highly appreciate that. But when it comes to the level of protection, the weight of the vehicle, the power pack behind it, behind all of these, it's copy paste. In fact, I think they're even using three-tone Kark as a camo pattern. Let me look at that. Um. Yeah, it looks like it's just forest or three-tone kark. Nothing different. And let's be honest here, France has been doing incredibly well over the last couple of years, actually. I would say months, but the last couple of years. They sit at around, uh, I think, a little over 50, maybe 60% uh, in win rate, which means they're, they're very good for the most part, even more so given that they have a lot of amazing top-tier CAS-capable aircraft that really ground pounds GRB. But there is one particular change, only in the dev server right now, that... Um, that might change your perspective on the leopards just a little bit. It's all over Reddit right now, and it is kind of crazy. So I'm going to take you over to the live game to kind of show you uh, what I mean, and then we'll take you back into the dev server. So here we are in the live game. No ray tracing, nothing, which, by the way, I am keeping that off simply because it's, uh, it's a little too taxing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the turret as far as I can before we hit what I like to call NATO hump, right? So as you can see... All right, there. 
So what that means is um, the gun is essentially not able to look behind the vehicle, right? So that that is reasonable, I would say. Okay, the barrel kind of clips through. I kind of get the reasoning behind why Gaijin is going to change this up very soon. But as you can see, we have a significant amount of gun depression almost behind the vehicle in its entirety. Now, again, this affects the entirety of the Leopards. Every single Leopard 2A4, 2A5, 2A6... And now the 2A7 are going to be having the exact same, well, level of gun depression as you see right here. Now, I'm going to jump over into the dev server really quick to kind of give you an idea of what changed. So here we are in the dev server now, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. As I continuously look over, you'll see that the gun picks up almost right away. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do a free look for you guys. And then uh, you can see amazing gun depression, and then all of a sudden... Boom. I'm going back. Back to it. Just... Uh, that is a significant nerf to this thing, which is unfortunate because it coincides with the new Leopards coming in for the French, which means that uh, the scope of your weakness is now made more significant. Now, assuming your opponent, for whatever reason, just decides to ram you and... <laughs> Just come too close to you yeah sure you can probably fight it but now yeah you see i can understand the reasoning behind it you saw the barrel kind of clipping through a little bit but this is a little too excessive i think gaijin i mean look at it like this i'm gonna go ahead and jump over back to the um to the hangar gaijin i get it don't get me wrong the leopards are some if not the best tanks at top tier. Some can argue maybe the Titan or the Leclerc's, which I, I wouldn't think they're the best to be honest, or maybe even the T80 BVM or the T90. It really depends on the player's perspective. But I think we can all agree on that uh, the Leopards in the game are absolutely outstanding. They perform well all the way from battle rating now 10.7 to 12.0. They are formidable. They hold down well. They are very mobile. Their armor, depending on which variant you're playing, can be incredibly formidable. So with that in mind, I fully understand the reasoning as to why Gaijin is bringing in said nerf. And trust me, I've been seeing the comments in the other videos and the other posts where how come Russia's not getting theirs? Their gun does the same thing or for China, etc. And I, I get it, right? But when it comes to overall performance in a variety of different nations, I understand the reasoning behind it. I would rather not see it, to be honest, because what that's going to do is uh, it's going to make coming up behind this tank a lot more unforgiving, which is probably a good thing, meaning that you have to now focus a lot more on vehicles around you and not just rely on your gun depression for being able to deal with targets right behind you. The same cannot be said for the Russians, the Chinese, and the French at top tier. But I digress. When it comes to the Leopard 2A, 4, 5, and 6 for France, did they need this? No, they did not. But it's not unwelcome. I mean, look at this top tier lineup. You now have one, two, three, four top tier Leclerc's all firing the same round with good mobility, decent armor, and good optics to now be reinforced by the 2A, 4, and L, 5, and 6. But here's the problem with this too. You have no 10.7 at all. Do you even have uh, aircraft? You don't even have aircraft at 10.7. How about helicopters? Not even that. <laughs> so that means if you want to play this thing, you either got to up tier your AMX 40, Vextra, Roland, CB9035, and L, or you got to play it as a backup to your 12.0 which is going to be wildly interesting. I mean, you can bring out an 11 helicopter, but I really wouldn't recommend it if you want to stay in those juicy down tiers because this fighting at 12-0 uh, is going to be a bit of a stretch. It's possible, but you're going to have a hard time. But that's really it for when it comes to the changes. I'll have the, uh, I should have said this at the beginning, the link to the blog down below in the description. There's a lot of stuff that Gaijin has done with this dev server, including new vehicles. Um, and go ahead and take a look at it yourself. But the most important thing you can do is not just watch this video, of course, and be educated. Uh, it's actually taking action. Go over to the forums, use that link I have provided in the description, and let Gaijin know what you think about these changes. 
Do you agree with them? Let them know. Do you not agree with it? Again, let them know. And maybe, just maybe, we can keep the leopards the way we currently have them. Although they can be overbearing at times and maybe this nerf is needed. And to those I say, sure, go with it. But as the old adage goes, uh, either adapt or die out, right? And you can bet I'm going to adapt to this, but I'd rather not. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this talking head video of mine. It'll likely be one of the last ones I do for this dev server as there's not a whole lot of other content. Uh, and don't forget to check out my previous ones featuring ray tracing as well as well the dev overview of the entirety of this outside of maybe some new vehicles they might add at some point later on down the line that we don't know of. I likely won't cover them. We'll see more about it. Please, comment section. Let me know if you want to see that. Cool? Cool. Anyways, if you want to see this gameplay live, you know where to find me over on Twitch. Link down below in the description as always. And I hope to see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but most certainly in the new top tier environment that'll be coming soon. See you next time.